Our hotel is a real gem in Jerba. Yeah, you have to cover your head. Welcome to our Tunisia travel series. In the previous video after exploring Tunis and Sidi Bou Said, we found that the flight we booked for Jerba didn't exist. But somehow we still managed to get to the island. Finally we made it to Jerba. Welcome to Jerba, this beautiful island is a popular tourist destination. Last night when we arrived literally we saw nothing but I think I spotted some flamingos but today we are going to have a tour around the island. Let's go. Jerba is the only island in Tunisia situated in the Mediterranean Sea. The island is known for its stunning beaches and unique blend of cultural influences. Our first stop today is Jerba Explore, which is like a crocodile park, and we are here. It's not very busy right now. I guess we're one of the first people here, so we can go. This farm is the largest crocodile farm in the Mediterranean with more than 800 crocodiles. These crocodiles are huge. I never seen anything like that. They are Nile crocodile and they are the biggest in Africa. They can weigh up to one ton, 1000 kilograms. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't want to get close to them. So scary. <laughs> Crocodiles are one of the oldest animals on earth, having ancestors that lived during the reign of dinosaurs. Crocodiles are so fascinating. I love them to watch them and they look so lazy but apparently they are really fast and don't get close to them. In their natural habitat, they are fearless and unbeatable, with no animal able to compete with them in terms of strength, agility and speed of reaction, especially in water. Here you can witness these fascinating creatures up close and learn about their behavior and habitat. This is not just a tourist attraction, it's also a research center for studying these amazing creatures. This farm is also home to a variety of other African reptiles. You can easily spend the day in Jerba Explore. This 12 hectares park has an interactive museum which offers a glimpse into the life, culture and traditions of the people of Jerba. Yes, I did it. But it's so 12 meters now, right? I think I'm done. This tree, as you can see, that our guide explained that they call it woman's tree because it's actually Hannah's tree. Like they dry the leaves and they make a powder. And I'm sure that you've seen the Hannah tattoo or something. It comes from this tree. The 
Sherba has the largest Jewish community in North Africa. So we are here and we are going to see the Jewish temple. Yes, you, yeah, you have to cover your head. Also as a female, I have to cover my head, but he said that because I have a hat, so I don't need a scarf. But if you don't, you have to wear a scarf. This is actually the oldest Jewish temple in Africa. The Gileba Synagogue is believed to have been built in 500 BC by Jews who fled after the Roman destruction of the first temple in Jerusalem. 100,000 Jews lived in Tunisia before the country won independence from France in 1956. But today there are only just over 1,000 Jewish people living around this synagogue in Jerba. Now we are in Jerbahut, where it's famous for murals and street art. And we have to walk a bit to find them. Look at this snake. I mean, a snake is one of my favorite animals. And the color of the snake matched the door. It's green. So cool. I can't recognize this sign, but someone carrying the Tunisian flag. Apart from the paintings and the street art, just look at this building behind me. It's so cute and just like it's so pretty. All of the doors here, they are just small houses, but they are so pretty. This is a sleepy village. It's so quiet, but the good news is there are a few cafes around. So we decided to sit down and have cappuccino. Why not? It's so relaxing. Now we came to Homsuk, the capital of the island. And now we are going to the market, the bazaar. Here, if you want to buy anything, you have to bargain. They give you a price, but don't just leave it to that. You have to be good in bargaining. And if you are good, so you can get the best deal. If you want to buy jewelry, you should come to this street. And here, the jewelry are made from gold. And all of these shops are run by Jewish. We just decided to check out one of the bed and breakfast. We are not staying here, but we are going to check out. And actually, it's so cute. And it has a painting and it has a, like a shared area to sit here. And it's just like we asked the price for, for a night. It's like 50 pounds per night. So it's quite cheap also. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, cute. <laughs> oh my god, this is all the style, like they kept the tradition alive. Mm. 
Our hotel Palm Beach Palace is a real gem in Jerba. So we want to spend some time in our hotel like because it has access to the beach. I mean, it has a private beach. It's not warm enough to go to swim because now it's February, but it's sunny and the sky is clear. So it's relaxing to be in the hotel area and we have food here and everything is amazing. Why not? Jerbo is one of the most popular beach destinations mainly for French and German tourists. Apart from the cultural and historical size, this Tunisian island is known for its beautiful sandy beaches and stunning luxury all-inclusive resorts. For those seeking a carefree holiday experience, Jerbo's all-inclusive resorts offer the perfect opportunity to relax and unwind. Our hotel has a spa, so we want to take advantage and we are ready. As you can see, I'm in the room and going for a massage. And see you in two hours, but you will see me relax. Two hours of a spa gone like this. And I feel so relaxed. We've done hammam, scrub, and massage. It was perfect. The food options are great and they have some local food, you can get just um, fresh fish. Last night they had fish, now I'm trying local food, I don't know the name, but it's lamb and chickpeas. We are ready to leave Jerba and our hotel, I think the day was so good. We were supposed to do diving but we did the spa and we are ready for a long road trip. We are driving towards the south and we are getting away from the sea and we are going to the desert. <laughs> 